Hello everyone, so today I decided to finally do a day in my life video <clears throat> I don't have a voice in the morning and I hope you guys will enjoy it. It's a Saturday and uh, uh, my days are not too fancy or not as fancy as they were in New York probably but here we go. First stop is Skate and Rink. I skate and rink and uh, yeah, let's go. <coughs> back home from skating um, we usually don't have breakfast before we are off to an ice rink because it's too early and uh, yeah we just don't have time to uh, prepare it uh, so we're gonna have some right now So wanted to um, talk about skating today and it definitely feels better when you are skating two or um, other amount of days in a row and uh, you feel more secure, more stable on the ice rather than when you have a week in between your sessions and first uh, like 10 or even more minutes on the ice uh, you're not um, going into a training, you are first trying to you know just feel the ice, feel the blades and losing your time on it so yeah today felt of course I didn't do great but and it was so many people uh, on the ice kids and I just feel anxiety uh, when there are so many people around you and you need to stay like alert all the time to not bump into anyone uh, so yeah but still it was a practice and um, it also was an unexpected i always wanted to try pairs and ice dance uh, but i'm definitely not ready yet for this um, but there is a skater and uh, i asked him to teach me basic steps so um, i really enjoyed it and uh, i will include the video from this uh, to rachel what are you doing Rachel, 
Rachel wants to get out of here. Um, what we gonna do next today? I, I think my like day of the life is kind of you know not a blogish, stylish uh, thing because um, I wonder why didn't I start when we were living in New York? You know when I had days and I was working in three, four schools, dance schools in New York, and I was working in a stretching studio in New Jersey. I was working in a um, classical dance um, conservatory in uh, in Connecticut uh, and had like bunch of auditions also was going to classes in Broadway Dance Center and uh, um, yeah just some art projects etc and it was in New York <laughs> but yeah I didn't start I didn't start uh, vlogging back then so uh, we really changed our lifestyle here in Florida we are living uh, like not in the city, more in the countryside and um, also um, after seven years of teaching, I was teaching in Russia and um, then in New York and it was like seven years in a row, I got constantly burned out um, and um, with moving to Florida, you know, the financial side is much better here than in New York. New York is crazy expensive and you will also lose uh, tons of money on your taxes as well. And on uh, the rent, uh, we were renting apartment uh, first for 1,600 uh, and it was a one bedroom. Uh, but after that it was like cockroaches in it and it was an old building but that's all we were able to ask for because we just moved uh, to New York to United States from Russia and then uh, when uh, we kind of like uh, started doing better we moved to the apartment in Long Island City with a view to Manhattan side and it was costing us three thousand three thousand five hundred dollars per month um, there were no cockroaches. We had view on Manhattan, but yeah, it was it was insane. It was a huge uh, financial pressure. We are really happy that we moved here to Florida, but yeah, our well, our lifestyle changed a lot. So uh, you will not see a day from my life like something very you know uh, active, uh, interesting, exciting. But some of the people asked and. Here I am doing this. Okay, uh, so today, what's we, what are we gonna do next? We gonna go to police station, why? And this is another topic for another video, I will tell you. Uh, I am a true crime junkie and uh, I even thought about moving myself into like a criminology direction or criminal justice direction um, and had a hard times uh, and I was more interested in a crime scene uh, investigator or like a detective part you know it takes tons of time before you get to these professions and uh, obviously I don't have uh, an American education and you need a specific education if you want to go to this uh, path to these professions uh, and I started to think about it um, you know a lot of times and even started looking into uh, what what uh, colleges and what universities have in this case here in Florida they have a lot uh, they have a lot, but I realized that I would not be able to really work in the field I thought I really want to because, you know, if we are talking about crime scene uh, investigator, uh, it means you will see a lot of dead bodies, unfortunately, and like really cruel, really um, brutal situations on a constant basis. And I watched a video of a girl uh, who was a CSI, crime scene investigator, and uh, she said a phrase which stuck in my mind, uh, which was um, um, your work day is someone's worst day and you will you know experience some families worst days on a daily basis like five six six calls uh, in in your shift so it really can uh, cause tons of mental problems and I'm working on my mental problems still from a belly trauma PTSD uh, so I think it's it's not a good idea for myself to put myself in a harder situation and to uh, kill my mental health uh, more and more okay but i'm interested still and i learned that there is a program uh from police departments in the united states and it calls ride along program which helps you to you know uh, connect with the police more to see their work and what this program is about that they take you on their shift um and shift 
usually uh, does from six morning to six in the evening or six in the evening uh, to six in the morning like night and morning day and night shifts uh, so yeah and for doing that uh, I'm sorry I'm just like uh, really figured not well my um, tripod and that's why I'm like kind of sitting on my legs like this uh, because if I will stay I will stay and you will see just my mouth working <laughs> if you want okay. to go um, you need to be you know chosen <laughs> uh, not everyone is available uh, not everyone can go into this program but mostly if you had some like back background because they do background check on you a criminal check and if you had uh, like a, a shady past um, you will not be able to go uh, to this program so uh, and uh, they send you three forms which you need to like submit and and uh, feel everywhere and uh, the forms are i have all these papers in my arms right now which we will hopefully um go to police station today and uh give it to them in person that's what they require okay so uh, it's university of central florida police department security awareness and acknowledgement for non-criminal justice personnel uh two pages and then it comes right along program application uh, with uh, all like info about you, etc. And the also two lists. And the third one is um, release of responsibility. It means like that uh, they are not responsible if something will happen to you, which in uh, perspective can. And you will be like, you know, riding in a vest, in a protective vest, anti anti bullet vest or something, um, because you were actually on a shift with the police um, and you don't know what will happen. Uh, or wouldn't happen so yeah and this one I'll show it to you I'm a little bit proud of but it's it's like it's nothing but it's still something for me it's uh, uh, my certification which I got yesterday criminal justice information services security awareness training um, this is certified that Maria Pishkova has successfully completed the level 2 security awareness certification uh, yeah they are sending you a course for criminal justice uh, about criminal justice information about their like data about how they work about rules etc and uh, for everyone who you know works in FBI and also in uh, police departments and everyone who has a uh, uh, a right to be in places where you know, criminal justice information is, you know, uh, hold. Um, and even for this right, you really need to, uh, you really need to do this training, and then you're going through a test. You have one hour to submit it to answer all the questions, uh, 24 questions, and I did 100% of them right yesterday. It was difficult, not easy, um, a lot of information. So yeah, all these six papers I have now with me, and I need to um, give them in person in police department. These are Florida laws that you can't uh, send uh, information like that via email. So yeah, we will go to police department for the first time and it's still not a guarantee that you will uh, be chosen, but my fingers are crossed because I really want that. Um, yeah, I guess we'll keep you updated and this is our plans, uh, police department and also um, we want to go uh, cycle, do um, bicycles right, you can, we don't have our own, so we rent them. Yeah, okay, it's, it's like already 10 minutes, oh my god, I love, uh, I talk too much. Okay, yeah, and then we'll have, uh, yeah, something else, I guess. possibility that we will not go biking today because Vat fell asleep. Uh, we don't sleep much last days and uh, he's very tired but hopefully we anyway will ride uh, to the police station to drop my documents and papers uh, now I will find something to do.
the some vegan fish fillets. Uh, we really, really love them too. And it's gonna be fresh blueberries and also fresh cucumbers and uh, tomatoes. Let's do this. to police station to drop off my papers um, yeah excited keep your fingers crossed for me that they will take me into this program let's go was quick even though the lobby was already closed but we called the phone number and um, yeah the the woman answered and she's uh, told me that she's seen me uh, via camera <laughs> and uh, that someone will uh, come down to take the papers from us and yeah uh, one uh, policeman came and we gave him papers so ah, oh, there's no light anymore and now we just wait. Yeah, I'll tell you guys definitely how things will go. We are kind of done with things for today and we came to one of our favorite uh, city parks, Eola Lake Park. Lake Eola Park. Lake Eola Park. Yeah, and it's super nice and warm outside today in Orlando. Um, so yeah, we'll have a walk. And we are home uh, after all our <laughs> adventures of the day. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope it was entertaining. Let me know in comments below um, what you want to see from me next. And uh, hopefully I will film that for you. Um, have a wonderful evening or morning everyone, wherever you will watch it. And uh, we are heading home to have maybe some dinner or just a drink and coffee. Yeah, we are drinking coffee at night and in the evening. Have a wonderful, yeah rest of your day. See you soon. Bye-bye.